All right, so the next sensor we're going to talk about is the fire control radar. Now, you'll notice that at the bottom of my IHAD symbology, I have the word FCR slash G. That says that my detection system is set to uh, fire control radar. You'll notice that at the bottom I have the line going back and forth. That's my fire control radar on. The line indicates where the radar beam is currently pointed. And you'll notice at the top of my uh, heads-up display symbology, there's a little doohickey moving back and forth too, and that also represents where it pointed. If I change my, uh, my left screen here, you can also see that line going back and forth, and that indicates that my fire control radar is on. You can turn your fire control radar on by using the scroll menu or by pressing the slash key. See, I shut it off, and I can turn it back on. Okay. So, in order to detect uh, things with your FCR, you need a clear line of sight, basically. Uh, so, what you're going to do is you're going to select a good battle position, right? Some position where you can see where you have a place where you can land if you get shot up as shot at as you bob up, uh, and also some room to the left and to the right, uh, to the left or to the right, where you can maneuver if you need to dodge a missile. Okay, so I've got set up. Uh, intelligence says there should be some enemies on the other side of this hill, so we're going to go ahead and bob up uh, once we get set. Alright, I'm set up here in my battle position, getting ready to bob up. I'm going to go ahead and... It uh, looks like my radar has already detected one of the Tigresses out there. Start a slow climb. I'm going to actually switch my iHads over to bob up mode. Uh, in the real aircraft, it definitely would have detected everything in this valley by now. Okay, well, I got it to populate. Um, basically, for the uh, FCR to detect stuff, you kind of have to have a line of sight, uh, but it'll detect stuff out to a really long range. Um, Right there, like I said, I, I had to pop up a little har, uh, higher than I normally have to. Uh, I haven't figured out the exact sweet spot, but it is usually consistent that if I can't detect them with the radar system, uh, they can't detect me. So it's just kind of a weird sensor, gl sensor glitch. So the advantage to detecting targets with your FCR is that now I've got a whole bunch of targets displayed here. See? Uh, so, triangle symbology, again, is radar threats, circle is a wheeled vehicle, and uh, the little H is a tracked vehicle. Um, so, what I can do at this point is I can now engage the targets uh, all at once. So. All right, so now that I've got my targets identified and categorized, I'm going to first show you how to do a, essentially a mass engagement. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to select our radar hellfires. Uh, and I'm going to cycle through real quick and see how many different targets we have. So I'm going to use this top uh, radar threat, the... the top tigress here to show me uh, when I cycle back through. So let's start our, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it should be about eleven missiles that I'm going to fire. So we're going to switch to, oh, 
Don't want to climb. Drop him back down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to lock on after launch. And since the fire control radar has stored all of those 10 digit grid coordinates, all I have to do is cycle between the targets and let missiles loose. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, oh, oh switching. Nine, ten, eleven. All right. That has pretty well cleared the field. I do have one tank right here hiding out in the salt flats. And the reason why he is still present is I programmed him uh, with a movement course. Now, all these stationary targets that were in this area got destroyed without me having to bob up. But this last tank. Since he was moving, a 10 digit grid wasn't good enough. Uh, so in order to engage him, I would have to select him, pop up, get a line of sight, fire. Maintain that line of sight, let's see. And he's destroyed. So you can look, you can see out there, uh, basically all of those targets are destroyed from a masked position. Uh, all with just a giant volley. Alright, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to prioritize your targets using the fire control radar uh, based on target type. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit filter. Okay, so that filters it for uh, tracking. Now I'm going to use my key bound uh, for cycling through it. Um, and that'll be in the list of key bindings on the mod homepage. But basically I can switch through radar threats, wheeled vehicles, uh, priority fires on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all, or tracked vehicles. And you can see that the uh, Tigris, since they have tracks, are targeted. So if I want to prioritize, like, main battle tanks, I would use the track filtering. Uh, and then you can just press R, radar hellfires, change the missile arc to a lock on after launch high, and then I can just press R. fire off a volley and all my tracked vehicles are destroyed. Pop up. We can watch the explosions go off out there in the distance. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And of course that tank over there since it was moving survived. Alright so that was uh, the tracked filter. If I press my filter key again you notice the radar threats are gone because I destroyed... see it says RAD right here, right here on the filter, and my track threats are gone, but my wheeled, WHL, I have a whole bunch of wheel threats. Now under wheel threats it's got some APCs, it's got uh, some trucks out there, and again I can just cycle through those. And as my trucks So now I just destroyed all the wheeled vehicle threats.
The third method of prioritizing targets is using what's called priority fire zones, or PFCs. Okay. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're first going to select this PFZ button right here. Um, so now it says PFZ1. So I have PFZ1 selected. I'm going to click Add. And down in the bottom corner, which you can't see uh, because of the size of my interface, but basically it says PFZ1 activated. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, okay, it looks like i got a convoy of tanks right here, convoy of vehicles right here, and a Tigress up here. So I'm actually going to set up this convoy of tanks as my first. So I'm going to set up this convoy of tanks, and basically you do that by clicking one point, hold your mouse there for just a second, and then click your second point and hold it there for just a second. For whatever reason, it takes about half a second for it to register your click. And if you move it in that half a second, then your click will be someplace else. So click here, wait, click there. This warning usually comes up, not a big deal. I hit close, now it's got a box around it. So now I'm gonna go back to my helicopter and you'll notice that a few of my targets have now changed white. That indicates that I have PFZ1 selected and that those are the targets that are present in PFZ1. Now, you'll see if I change here PFZ to 2, none of them are white. And if I change this filter over here to PFZ1, now only the targets from PFZ1 are selected. Notice how they're not white? That means if I press R, I can't cycle through them. I get that error message. But now if I cycle back through to PFZ1, they turn white and I can now target them. Again, if I want to change my filter again, I can filter through all my different PFCs back to all, and it shows which ones are white. I can then go ahead and select Hellfire Missiles, change trajectory to lock on after launch high, and I can engage my threats in PFZ-1. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set up some additional PFZs. I'm gonna turn uh, PFZ2, going to add, back to my map, going to add 2 up here, going to press 5 to recenter my crosshairs, or numpad 5, I'm going to select PFZ3, going to hit add, I'm going to go to 3, I'm going to select these vehicles here. Three is selected. I'm n pressing numpad five to recenter my cursor. I have to I have to recenter my cursor each time because I have three screens. If you just have a single screen, it's not a big of a deal. So PFC four. Um, I'm gonna select add go to map. I'm gonna select this truck right here. Bam, that's set it for PFC four. So now I could go ahead and I can cycle through my PFCs. So we'll start with two, since that's where my tig that Tigress is. Uh, so I have two selected. I'm gonna press R and engage. I'm gonna select my next PFC. It's three. I'm gonna press R. One, two, three. The three targets in PFC three are destroyed. Now I'm going to press PFC4. I think I just have one target there. So we'll go ahead and use that Hellfire. See if we have additional... Oh, there are additional targets in there. We'll just cycle through them here. Okay. And you'll notice that I still have some targets... Uh, I don't think that worked. We're going to go ahead and do a lock-on before launch. Pop up and get that get that little truck right there. It's being a sneaky. Bam. Got him. Alright. 
So you notice, for whatever reason, one tank did not get selected in the PFCs. It's not a perfect system. This is like this is an older mod. It's got some glitches. But uh, if I just go ahead and I change my PFZ selection to oh, oops, cycle back through to zero. Now I can target my remaining two vehicles that did not make it into a PFC. And for this one, I'm going to just do a, a direct attack. All right. So that pretty much covers uh, PFC's priority fire zones. All right, so the next uh, sensor we're going to talk about is the Longbow Network System. And basically what this does is this allows multiple aircraft to engage targets based off of one target data. So you can see here on my TSD I have two large clumps of tanks. And there's about 16 in each of these clumps, so that's a little too much for me to handle. Uh, it's 32 total tanks. But my wingman out my left side, uh, you can see him over here, uh, he also has 16 Hellfire. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two priority fire zones. I'm going to transmit one of them to my wingman and he's going to engage them with his Hellfires and I'll engage the other priority fire zone with my Hellfires. We're going to do it in mass. So we're going to engage essentially 32 targets in the space of about 30 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is change to PFZ1 right here from the TSD page. I'm going to add a PFZ, switch to my map, I'm going to select the left group of tanks for my wingman to fire at. So you can see now that the left group is all selected uh, in white and now I'm going to use my scroll menu to scroll down to the option that says PFZ send and I'm going to collect, uh, select it. And down in the bottom right hand corner you should see targets uploaded, new cache data detected. So now my wingman, Jester, why don't you go ahead and see if you can uh, download those targets and uh, let me know. All right, I'm hitting PFZ receive. Okay. And I see 12 targets downloaded from Fred. Perfect, 12. Close enough, the radar probably only detected 12. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a second PFZ for my target group. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to go into the map. I'm going to select my group of targets. And now they turned white. So now I've got a group of targets and my wingman has a group of targets. So now we're going to coordinate this fire. Um, I'm switching to my Hellfire missile. Uh, and Jester, if you can do the same, switch your uh, trajectory to lock on after launch, high altitude. And again, this will only work if all of the targets are stationary. If any of them move, then the radar Hellfire won't have a grid coordinate detected for them. All right. Uh, so now, uh, on the count of three, we're just going to start cycling through our targets and firing our missiles, okay? One. Ready. Two. Three. Target that tank. 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 Oh, got to switch to the second group of Hellfires. Target that tank. Okay, that's all of them in my uh, PFC. Almost done with mine. And done. All right. Now, from this position, I'm going to go ahead and unmask vertically. I'm going to switch to the uh, camera mode, and I'm just going to kind of show you the destruction here. So if you look out there, you can see here are all the burning tanks that Jester engaged. And over here on this side, we've got everything that my PFC engaged. So I only had to expose one aircraft to uh, enemy fire, uh, one sensor, and just for the sake of this demonstration, we did 
two aircraft, but in the real world you can do as many as uh, 16 aircraft or 24 aircraft and have 120 targets saved and engage them all again in about that 30 second period. Uh, so that concludes this part of this demonstration.